Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial on the voice thread section of the Yukon Historical and Museums Association website. That's heritageyukon.ca. All right. My name is Sam, and I'm a project manager at YHMA. And through this little screencast tutorial, I hope to show you a little bit about VoiceThread, uh, what it can do, and how to use it. What you see right here is the uh, YHMA homepage, heritageyukon.ca. And you can find the VoiceThread project by clicking on the projects, and then VoiceThread. And this will load the VoiceThread page up. It's a little blurb about what VoiceThread is. Basically, we're taking photographs and we're putting them online and allowing people to leave audio or text comments with information or stories relative to the photos. Uh, we've separated the project into four categories. We have photos from Whitehorse, photos of people, photos of events, and photos of communities. Now you'll notice that nothing's really loading right away. That's just because it needs to transfer the data and see it's loading now. So this is a voice thread. It has many photos in it and it plays sort of like a slideshow. So you can hit this play button and it will start playing and it'll automatically show um, comments and it'll just play through. You can hit pause at any time to pause the uh, slideshow. And I recommend hitting this gallery button to bring up a listing of all the photos. And then you can sort of jump to the photo you want to view and hit the play button to hear a comment. Dawson Family Theater. Oh, that's, that's over here, the D3A. We called it the D3A. So that's an audio comment. Pretty simple. To leave a comment of your own, find a photo you want to leave a comment on. I'll leave this one at the bar here. So I just hit comment, and you can hit uh, phone, and it'll ask you to dial in a phone number, and hit call me, and then your phone will ring, and you can record your comment right into the telephone. If you have a webcam attached to your computer, you can use make a video comment. Uh, you rec record an audio comment through a microphone, you can record a text comment right there, or you could upload audio. So if you've pre-recorded an audio comment, um, you can upload that audio to the file. So if I want to leave a text comment like that, it's going to ask me to sign in again because I just signed out. But if you, you need to register for an account in order to uh, leave comments, and it, that is really easy. So just hit this register button. Type in your name, your email, your email again, a password, and another password. Hit register, and you're good to go. But I will just sign in. Sign in. in. And I will hit type to leave a comment. And I could start typing my comment. Where is this? bar. Over here you'll notice that there are, is a color wheel with different colors. You can choose a color and, uh, and mark up the project. Let me draw a little question mark. But you could point out different people with this or different areas of a photo. To save your comment just click Save and it'll save it right here and it'll appear along the side with the other comments. So where's the bar? Question mark. If you don't see your comment right away, we're just moderating comments to make sure that they're all appropriate to the photos. So uh, just come back later and you'll, you'll see your comment up there. All right, get out there and get commenting.